believe is 5 to 2, 522. Glory and praise to our God. Number 522. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. Among men who knows what pertains to the man, except the Spirit that is within. Similarly, no one knows what pertains to God, except the Spirit of God. We have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand the things freely given us by God. I may speak about them, not with words taught by human wisdom, but with words taught by the Spirit. Describing them spiritual realities in spiritual terms. Now, the natural man does not accept what pertains to the Spirit of God, for to him it is foolishness, and he cannot understand it, because it is just spiritually. The one who is spiritual, however, can judge everything, but is not subject to judgment by anyone. For who has known the mind of the Lord, the Lord so as to counsel him? But we have the mind of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Son. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate to all, all his works. The Lord is just in all his ways. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your minds. The Lord is just in all his ways. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is all his ways. The Lord is faithful in all his works, and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are failing and falling, and Rises up all who are bowed down. The Lord
When you were a child, what is authority? How do you judge authority? Probably the same when you were talking when you were with your brothers or sisters. You would tell them, do this. And they would say, why should we do that? Because mother said so, or dad said so. And they would say, okay, okay, let's do that. And why? We think authority has emanated from the thing that there is something good in that. We believe that there is something good that comes out of it. And that's what's revolving around the gospel today. They were amazed of the authority of Jesus today because there was something happening there. Authority came out of him, not simply because they know that he has power, but because there was something good that came out of him. Now, in, in those times, when you talk about the rabbi preaching with authority, they talk about authority when a rabbi preaches, he will say, this is so and true, and I quote the authority of Rabbi so-and-so, and Rabbi so-and-so quotes the authority of Rabbi so-and-so. They go and quote and quote and quote until they reaches Moses, the lawgiver. But Jesus, when he says something, power comes because he is the author. See, it's very close. The author of the law. The one that gives the authority. He writes the law. He begins the law. He tells the goodness where it's coming from. Today, the goodness comes from him to heal the person who is possessed by the evil spirit. He heals the man, and there the goodness comes in. There is authority, there is there that comes in. Now, think about it. Every, and this is where sometimes we're forgetting a lot. Because all of us here, sitting here, have authority. And don't forget that. All of you have authority if you don't. I, I hope you remember that because that's your gift from Jesus. You have authority from Jesus. The moment that you bring the goodness of Jesus to other people, the moment that you say, you share the, authority, the goodness to others, because it's coming from Jesus, then authority comes out of you. See, that's the reason why any gift that we receive from God, it stops from you dying. So it's no longer an authority. But if any gift comes from God, is shared by you to others, becomes an authority, and there it continues and it's becoming a life-giving force. And remember that all the time because you are 
gifted by God to have that authority. And that gift makes others live and continues to live. And always tell them that gift is not just yours. You have to continue sharing that with others. So it doesn't end. Continues sharing, perpetuating itself, making it available for others. That's what ministry is all about. It doesn't end with us. But Father, oh, I saw that somebody else who is not Catholic is doing the same thing. It's not limited with us. It's a gift from God. Don't limit the gift of God to us. God's gift continues. It perpetuates itself. It makes it available. It, remember, it's God's goodness. The rain falls on good and bad alike. Remember that all the time. It never says, okay, I am the only one good, so the rain falls around me, on me. The other people there, they are bad, the rain doesn't fall there, it's just on me. No. It falls on the good and the bad alike. Because the reason why that's where the goodness of God is. Here, have the authority, bring that authority to others. Make God alive in other people's heart. Have the power be made available to others. And you will be God's messenger. And I love the word of Paul as he uses it. I am a the ambassador of God to other people. Today, be the ambassador of God to others. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's all stand up for our prayers. Merciful and loving God, you have healed again the person who had the unclean demon in his life. Clean us that we may be worthy of your gifts, we pray to the Lord. That we may have the authority to bring your goodness to others, we pray to the Lord. That in your goodness we may continue to share your gifts to others, we pray to the Lord. This Mass is being offered by for Rosa Urdanivia, we pray to the Lord. Lord Gracious and loving God, we have offered you our prayers and all our intentions today in this Mass. Make us alive to be witnesses to your words and deeds. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual prayer.
pray with your friends that the sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, in Christ our Lord. For our compassion for the waywardness that is ours, He humbled Himself and was born of the Virgin. With the passion of the cross, He freed us from an ending death. And by rising from the dead, He gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as we are and we are praying. Holy, holy, holy Lord of God, host, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the heights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Son of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sapra was ended in the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, for taking of the body blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have been issued throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, for by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and the graces we grant for peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Let us offer each other this sign.
Let us pray. Renewed with this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbors to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty God bless us all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before our goals begin, 